Hi everyone! Today I am super excited to be sharing with you the products that I'm going to be using for my 2020 December Daily project. Now this is the first year that I'm doing a December Daily and I am going all out. I will be doing a 12 days of interactive December Daily pages series on my YouTube channel here showing you uh, process videos on how I create 12 interactive pages for my December Daily album and they won't necessarily all be in December and they won't necessarily align like day one won't be on December 1st for example because I do want to spread them out throughout the month. Some of them might be in November and some of them might even be in January. We'll see on how I do with my first year doing this project. Um, but if you are interested in my interactive December daily pages, then be, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications button. So um, this is the tote that I have all of my December daily products in. Um, this is a tote from 31. I'm not a consultant with them. I just ha happen to have this one that I got on sale a while ago. So this pattern in particular is probably discontinued, but you can probably find similar totes on their website. And the reason why I have all of my products in a tote is because my kitchen has a lot better lighting than my craft room does. So I'll be filming all of my videos um, in my kitchen and doing some of my um, other things off camera in my crafting room. So I just wanted to have them in this convenient tote bag so that I can move my products around as needed. So the first thing is I'm going to be using these Citrus Twist Kits Life Crafted Albums to hold my December Daily. And I have two of them here because with the interactive pages, I'm anticipating that the pages will be a bit thicker. And so I did buy two albums from them. Um, this color here is the turquoise color and this color here is the peacock color and I thought that they went really well with the um, other products that I'll be using. So the majority of my products this year are going to be from Coco Daisy from their um, Cranberry Rose collection. Now the Coco Daisy collections um, came out, they just started shipping like the first and second week of November and it was so hard for me to wait and um, for my products to arrive. I live in Canada so it does take a while to get to me um, from the States and like in the beginning of November I was seeing everyone else's product um, reviews and their projects and process videos and it was really hard for me not to jump the gun and order something from somewhere else that I would potentially get back in time. I think it was worth the wait, um, but definitely if you're someone who plans a lot in advance, I wouldn't um, necessarily go to Coco Daisy for products. Um, another thing too is that Coco Daisy is a subscription only program primarily. They do have some leftovers from their monthly kits when the subscriber shipping ends, but I wouldn't necessarily count on getting all of your products in if you're not a subscriber of Coco Daisy. Um, you, if you are a subscriber, which I am, I happen to order all of these products and um, all of the things that I wanted were in stock just coincidentally when I placed my order. So it was really nice to get this package and um, I'll show you some of the goodies that I have here. I just wanted to mention quickly that um, I was by no means expecting to get all of my Coco Daisy products at the beginning no of November. Um, just by the nature of how their subscription model works is that um, the December kits don't ship out until like the first week or two of November. So that means by the time it arrives in Canada, that's like probably mid to late November. So I knew this going into ordering the products. Um, I also just wanted to mention that um, because they are more subscription based, it's hard to buy. Like if you were just going to do a December daily album, but you weren't subscribed to them for the um, 
rest of the months, it would be hard to just go in after all the subscribers have placed their orders and expect to um, get a full kit worth for December daily. Um, so just keep that in mind when um, you're wanting to place an order with this company. So up front, I have some sticker sheets. These are all from various kits. Um, this one here is from the main planner kit. Um, these ones here are from the um, memory keeping sticker kit. Um, and I have a whole bunch here, um, again, from assorted planner kits. Uh, some of the sticker sheets here are from planner add-ons. They also did a Christmas bonus kit um, this year that I also got. So some of the sticker sheets are from there as well. Um, these sheets specifically are from the Christmas add-on kit. So their monthly kits don't really include much about Christmas because not everyone celebrates the holidays. So um, to get any Christmas related, uh, Christmas theme related products, they have a se separate add-on purchase for that. Um, here I also have some enamel dots stickers from them. Um, here I have my um, leftover stickers from the uh, Kelly Perky kit a while ago that I got. And these are also from Coco Daisy. These are like um, foam stickers and they are white and they have various sayings on them. These are from the memory keeping kits. Uh, these shipboard pieces are also from the Coco Daisy Memory Keeping Collections, as are these puffy stickers here. And this uh, set of gold puffy stickers is from their Christmas add-on kit. I also have, it's hard to see here, but these are snowflake stickers, and these are from one of the Coco Daisy kits as well. And these gold letter stickers were just from my stash, and I'll probably be using some of these too. Um, so in this second um, slot here, oh, I have some more stickers here from Coco Daisy. Um, this separate slot that I have here are for all of my papers, um, including any specialty papers that I have. So Coco Daisy um, has vellum papers and acetate sheets that they release in their kits. So uh, this one is a snowflake pattern. This one has reindeer, kind of like a Christmas sweater pattern. And they also had this acetate piece. Um, and this one came from their um, Christmas kit. And behind here, I have all of my pattern papers. Most of these are from Coco Daisy as well. These ones here are, um, I subscribe to the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. And um, every month it comes with a Traveler's Notebook. And every month I take apart the staples and I cut down the pieces um, of paper so that I can use them as pattern papers in my documentation. I also ordered quite a few um, quite a few packs of pattern paper this month because I knew that I was going to be using this kit primarily for my December daily project and I wanted to make sure that I had enough pattern papers. Um, I've already cut into some of them so these three patterns are from the main planner kit. And these ones here are from the uh, memory keeping kit. And of course I have duplicates of all of these patterns. I'll just fan them out a bit so you can see. And that's the back side. In addition to the Coco Daisy kits, um, I also purchased a couple of other company products as well. Um, these are from In a Creative Bubble and these are the Traveler's Notebook papers. 
I haven't cut them down yet because I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to be doing with them. But I felt like the colors went well enough with the Coco Daisy kit that I could use these in my memory keeping as well. Um, and these are the free printables that Coco Daisy has on their website. And you can get these for free even if you're not a subscriber. So um, if you're interested in these, be sure to check out their website. And these are um, some of the, um, on the Facebook page, there's a lady who shares um, the art that she creates, and she makes them into um, phone screen backgrounds. So I just downloaded those backgrounds and I um, scaled them up to fit an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And I printed those out as well so that I have those patterns to work with during the month too. Um, you'll see here that I have a small section here. Um, that's just for storing my scraps of paper so that if, if I need a thin scrap of paper, I can come here and get one of those pieces um, instead of digging through my other stack. So I've also divided my um, kit up into um, these plastic containers. These are from Michael's and they are used to store um, four by six photos, but um, of course I use them to store other things too. Um, so these are the pocket cards that we got in the um, Coco Daisy memory keeping uh, kit, the uh, pocket memory keeping kit. Some of these are also from the um, planner add-on. Um, in this box here, I have all of my, um, I would say, decorative die, die cuts. So these ones were um, from the memory keeping kit and these are vellum snowflakes with some silver foil on them. And here I just have an assortment of decorative die cuts. So these are things that don't have words on them that I could use maybe on cards or um, to create labels on my spreads. And I have a separate container w for everything that has words on it pretty much. So if I'm looking for um, a title or something like that to go with my photos, I'll look for um, a saying in this box here. I also have a box of, um, these are from Tim Holtz and they are, uh, they came in a sticker book, but I found the sticker book was a bit hard to store um, because it was a bit longer than the rest of my products. So I just cut down the sheets and um, I don't know if I'll use this, um, these stickers. Some of the colors are a bit, like you can tell they're a bit more warmer tone than the Coco Daisy kit. So they might not necessarily go very well with the other products that I have. Um, but I figured these um, phrase stickers here might be um, useful to have. Um, I also have this um, clear pouch that we got in the um, Christmas add-on kit from Coco Daisy. And I have some inks that I'll be using here. So the, these inks, ink cubes are from Altenew and I have, um, I think most of the colors um, in their collection now. So every month I go through my ink cube stash and I match up the colors that I think will go well with uh, that month's kit. So here I have the Forest Glades color, the Desert Night, Butternut, Velvet, Cloudy Sky, C 
Sea Breeze, Crimson, and this is the ink cube that we got um, in our December um, Coco Daisy Christmas add-on kit. So um, I have here stamped out the labels um, that I usually do every month. I do have a video tutorial on a hack that I do to um, die cut these out because uh, the, the stamp set is from Ellie's Studio and it comes with a die set that coordinates with it. And so um, I have a YouTube tutorial on how I um, created these templates so that I can stamp them in each color and die cut them just in one pass, which is a time saver. I'll link down the video below. Um, so these are the colors that are stamped out and you can see that they coordinate really well. I just wanted to point out as well that um, these two, so this one here I stamped with the Coco Daisy ink cube um, and this one here is stamped with the Altenew Velvet ink color and you can see that the Coco Daisy color is a bit um, of a cooler tone than the Altenew one. Um, I wanted to have both colors as labels just in case uh, for different spreads. I also wanted to let you guys know that I do have a coupon code for Altenew as well if you're interested in any of the products um, and I will link that down below in the description box. So the next thing I have in terms of products is this bag here. This was from a Coco Daisy kit as well. I think it was from the planner, the main kit. And in here I have all of my um, embellishments that I'm going to be using. So here I have um, two uh, embellishment packs from, this is from the company is called Buttons Galore. And I just thought they would be really fun to um, maybe add as shaker elements to my pages. Um, I do have a coupon code for them as well, and I will put that in the description box below. Here I also have some word tokens from Tim Holtz. Um, these are the Christmas word tokens. Uh, some binder clips from a Coco Daisy kit. Uh, this is a paper clip from a Coco Daisy kit as well. Um, these were also from Buttons Galore. So um, every order that you place online with them, they do send a free embellishment pack. Uh, so this is the one that I got and I'm excited to use these ones here. I also got a whole bunch of embellishments from Ellie's Studio. So um, this one here was from last year that I got on sale. And the other ones are all from this year. So I have a couple of packs of wood embellishments as well as a pack of cork embellishments that I'm really excited to use. Um, I also have some uh, wooden snowflake pieces from my stash. Uh, here are some acetate pieces from LE Studio and they just have uh, white on them. So they're transparent, but they're printed in white. So I thought those would look really cool. Um, here we just have some ribbon from uh, the one of the Coco Daisy kits, I think the Christmas kit. And it just looks like that. Um, and a couple of um, paper clips as well from the Coco Daisy kits that I might use. Next we have, um, this is a washi tape holder um, that I found at Michael's. And in here are a couple of washi tapes that coordinate with um, the products that I'm using. So this washi tape I think was from Coco Daisy from last year or two years ago. Uh, these are just some Christmas colored washi tapes that I had for my stash. Um, this one, this one, this one, and these two are all from um, some of the Coco Daisy kits from this uh, month of December from this year. And this is just a uh, washi tape that I had from my stash. I also have this uh, pack of um, 
I think they're like glassine bags, but you can see that they're kind of like they have a bit of silver, silver metallic on them. Um, and they're from Michaels. Um, I got this, I think, uh, Boxing Day two years ago, um, I want to say, and I will definitely be using one of these in uh, one of my pages. Uh, next we have all of the stamp sets. Some of these are older stamp sets that I've accumulated over the years and some of them are newer, so I'll just go through them quickly. Um, I have a couple from Elle's Studio, so this one is the Holiday Words. I have this one from Kelly Perky, it's the Be Merry set. As well as this Good Cheer set from Kelly Perky. And this Joyful and Bright from Kelly Perky as well. From Kelly Stamps, I have, this one is from this year. This is uh, Let's Get Lit, and I felt like um, with uh, COVID this year, some of these um, phrases but that are a bit more sassy might be more relevant. Um, another one from Elle's Studio, Ellie's Studio. This is called Christmas Tabs. Um, here I have, this one is from Citrus Twist, and this is called Sparkle and Joy, um, and this went with their Christmas collection this year. Um, and this is an older one from Kelly Perky, and it's called Winter Memories. I have a few from Coco Daisy as well, so I put them all in um, these uh, page uh, stamp protectors. So this top one is one set, um, and it is a separate stamp set that um, you could purchase. Um, it didn't come in any of their kits. Uh, these two came in their memory keeping kits. And this one here, um, also from Coco Daisy, came in the uh, Christmas add-on kit. And lastly, I have a stamp set, and this is from Citrus Twist, and it's called True Life. This isn't Christmas themed per se, but some of these uh, words like joy and sweet and gather together family I felt like would be very relevant for Christmas and I just love the font on these so I included those in my uh, tote bag as well. So that's all the products that I'll be using for my December dailies. Um, I will show you a sneak peek of my title page um, this is, I have already filmed a process video on this one and it will be going live shortly, like in the next couple of days, but this is basically like a shaker page, um, that has like a see-through element here. So, um, if you'd like to watch how I made this, then definitely hit the subscribe button or check back on my channel, um, in a couple of days and that will be up. Make sure you subscribe to my Instagram account as well because I'll be posting um, pictures of my pages that are not part of my 12 days of interactive December dailies video series. So um, yeah, and if you have any questions about these products, I'll try to link everything down below in the description box below. Some of these might be retired, unfortunately, because some of them are from previous years. Um, but I will try my best to link anything that I can find. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope your December daily documentation goes well this year.